gonna show you what I eat the whole day. I'm gonna go from breakfast all the way to my last meal. I'm gonna have my cold Sebastian oil with me and he's gonna try to keep up. Hey guys, welcome to part two. We just started eating our fourth meal. Potatoes, steak, carrots, put some um, extra butter on the potatoes. Extra calories and it tastes also much better. I'll tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. The mince is very easy to eat. Yeah. But this tastes better. I like you know, this. It's good quality steak. This is nice, but it's good to change it up. I agree. Fillet steak? Fillet steak. Man. If I ate like this every day, I would definitely gain weight, but I would I would lift well. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep up today. I'm surprising myself. Do you think you will finish uh, six minutes a day? I don't know. I'm yeah. enjoying this meal. Yeah, that's good, man. So judging it from this, I think I will. Yeah. I probably wouldn't allocate as much time to my meals as you do, which is just the biggest reason why I don't eat as many meals during the day. Mm. Do you think it would be beneficial for you, like strength loss? If, if lifting was my priority, 100 percent yeah if i did this for six months straight i think i'd be able to jump up weight class so that's an extra 15 kilograms because it would be fun to uh, compete at that yeah, weight 275 class. 275 right. class so that would be fun to compete at mm -hmm. a lot of people ask me about it would you jump up a class and i, I always thought i like the 110 kilo class but you if do. you got to eat like this mm. and if i did like if i could i know you told me before that you have a goal mm. Of squatting 400 kilograms. It is a goal. I think it would, like, I believe that you can do it in 100 kilo class, 110 kilo class, yeah. but it would be a lot more achievable, a bit heavier. Absolutely. <laughs> what if I was to cut weight? What would happen to my strength? And the first thing that I think is it would be dangerous for me to try and lift the same amount of weights at a lighter body weight. Um, having a heavier, having more body mass around you, not just muscle mass, but a little bit of fat mass, not being fat, a little bit of fat mass protects you, it holds your core, it holds your spine, it holds your joints. Mm -hmm. Your levers change for a squat and a bench press, definitely. For a deadlift, if I was bigger, I don't know if it would help my deadlift too much. I've never, I've never seen you eat like this before. No. I always, like when I hang out with you, I might have three meals with you, but then I'll fall off somewhere. I might go and do something. <laughs> and while I'm doing something, you'll be having another meal yep. and I'll just be occupying my time with something else. And that's where I fall off. But the results speak for themselves. When people don't put as much time and effort into their nutrition and, you know, they use the eat big, lift big mentality, it's not where it's at. And a lot of the best strongmen, a lot of great strongmen are eating high quantity of food, but not high quality of food. Yeah, I think it's very important to mm. fuel, your, fuel your body with the right nutrition. You know, looking after your heart, staying in the game for a long time. Mm -hmm. you got to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm almost there. You guys saw after my meal before, I had a banana. And I do snack on like tomatoes throughout the day. So I was thinking after this meal, we'll have uh, two eats tomatoes. We just cut them <laughs> and we'll that sounds funny. To have a tomato as a snack. I'll have it. I do add it like into my diet, like mm -hmm. I have between meals, you know. Mm -hmm. It's good for heart and it's high in potassium. Mm -hmm. I eat because I enjoy eating, and of course, I like, prefer to eat food that tastes good, mm. but I also eat for purpose, you know. Mm -hmm. I've done it. Good job, man. Thank you. It was good. Fourth meal, down. Mm. Two to go. Next meal is at uh, six. Six o'clock. And then. 8, 8.30. And then night snack before you go to bed. Yeah, then I have snack like well, that. I'll have like a liter of milk with uh, casein protein. You have a whole liter? Yeah. Full fat milk? Yeah. Tomato? Tomato, yeah. Okay. Why are you me too? Me too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I like tomatoes. Do you not like tomatoes? It's not that I don't like them. Like I like them in a salad with a bit of olive oil, maybe salad dressing on it. But to eat it like this, this is a first for me. So Thor needs to hit your potassium quota for the day. Yeah. What is that? Five grams. Five grams. Breathing hard. Actually, for some reason, literally just now, I just felt very full. Oh. <laughs> that literally put me over the edge. 
tomatoes, they're nothing. I know it's nothing. I'm gonna eat this, I promise. I've been seeing you regret every decision as <laughs> I'm committed to it. I don't regret it. I'm committed to it. We just ate. Can we just digest? Yeah. I just relax a bit and then what? If that's if that's the tricks, then that's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys were going for a walk. Yeah, I thought we were as well, but I think no, I think I the couch is so good. That. I thought it was so comfortable. Should we go walk or? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's take a walk. Alright, Coats. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah, go, Coats. You gotta help me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we have the world's strongest man here. Ah. Where's the pee? Is that pee? Yes. Ah, okay. I was patting his pee. Oh, I look so cute like that. But it's still like But the strong man is not. Also? Yeah. Meal number five. Meal number five. What do we got? We got ribeye, burgers, rice with spinach and carrots. I'm feeling hungry. You know what? I don't feel full. I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't know if mm. I'm used to it, but I'm not hungry though. Mm. We actually waited three hours now. Mm. It's great, so mm. three hours is a good time. Had a walk, which is good. This actually tastes amazing. Mm. I think it's very easy to eat. Mm -hmm. It's definitely always been the hardest thing for me whenever I've tried to put on weight mm -hmm. is having the appetite. It helps you that we take these walks. It made me feel better when I got back. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as bloated, yeah. wasn't as full. Would you have trained me? You would ask me, so so what's the story? What's, what's, what's your goal? Mm. Now, like, I talked to you and I said, I don't know. He said, What do you mean you don't know? You don't have any goals? Mm. No, I don't. No, no. But you, 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 you would ask, you know, you, you, you compete your, at the World's Rank competition. I was like, yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to win that show? I'm like, yeah, I would like to, but I don't believe in myself. <laughs> would you have trained me that day? Would you have been my coach? No. <laughs> my point is mm. that you have to believe in yourself, mm. you know. Yeah. You I know find what? it very impressive that I won the World's Man. That's I a, do, that's I do a, well. that's a, that's a, like I do as well. Pretty and high, I, high goal. Yeah, be the best at something. You need mental strength to do that. Yep. I agree with you. And I told you straight away. Mm -hmm. I told you, I'm going to be the one who's mm -hmm. man one day. Mm -hmm. And I believe I can. Yeah. Because I said that, you believed in me. All the people be believe, believed in me. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's that's the beginning. Yeah. I'm a huge believer in believing in yourself. <laughs> the moment you tell yourself you can't do anything, you, you, you're not ever going to do it. Mm -hmm. That's always going to be my answer. Because hmm. you've got to practice what you preach. And I know that you are big on self-belief. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But, you know, it's about being realistic as well. It's like, it's realistic to believe. Like when I met you, six foot nine, 190 kilograms or 185 kilograms when I met you. When I started from one. Mm. Six nine, tall guy, yeah. skinny guy. Mm -hmm. 140 kilograms, 140 kilograms body weight. I still mm. looked like I was not skinny, but like lean. Yeah, like like, like a basketball player. People told me all the time, "You're never gonna win the Olympics, man. You're never gonna be a great squatter. You're, ne you're, mm. you're never gonna be a good bench presser or 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 overhead presser. Mm. You're just a, like an athletic guy. You're able to like run fast with loading events and be mm. fast on your feet. You know, that's all. Mm. I use that as fuel. Mm. I. I always told myself that, that you know one day I'll 
I'll be the best. One day I'll be, you know, at the top with the, with, with the top competitors, fighting with the first places. Mm -hmm. And I always believed in myself. Mm -hmm. And each year I got better and better and better. And look where I'm now. Like it's it starts with believing in yourself, and then you have to work for it. Have a goal, you know. How much weight did you put on? Like? In Stroman, my first uh, competition back in 2009, mm. I weighed 144 kilograms roughly. And then a year later? A year later, I probably gained about 25 kilograms. That's a lot of weight gain? Yeah. And you would have got a lot a of year, strength A year and a half, I believe, I was up to 200 kilograms. Really? <laughs> I gained weight very fast. Yeah. I believe that me being bigger, I would get stronger, which, which, which happened, you know, I just mm -hmm. gained and gained and gained and ate, I ate everything. Mm. In, did, like, did you go out and party or drink or anything like that? No, no, nothing. Like, so my social life was very bad, like I didn't do anything. I what, just, how old were you then? Um, 20. So 20 years old, no more going out, no more partying, no more drinking? No, just stayed home, ate my meals, trained, go out, like yeah. And just, I understand that, like that's how I am now, but I'm 37. And I've got a family, mm -hmm. but you don't come across many people, especially at the age of 20, that want to sit at home. Well, not sit at home. They just don't want to go out and drink and party and do all of these things. It's not common. Yeah, I, I, I just believed in myself very early. Like when I started doing Stroman, I, I, I told myself that, you know, I could be good at this. I didn't like know that I could make a living out of it. You know, yeah. I just had a passion. I had a passion for it. I was obsessed. Like I never knew that one day I would actually like make a good living from it, you yeah. know. But I did, you know. It was a plus. It's a good thing. Hey, I'm finished before you, bro. That's because I got you talking. Mmm. Well, I have a fifth meal. Fifth meal? Fifth, fifth, fifth meal. I've done it. Mm -hmm. We got one to go. One to go. Well, if we classify the last um, intake as a meal, there's mm -hmm. two to go. Mm -hmm. So that's a liter of milk. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Happy? Happy. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's go. My Instagram is Hey, it's Tuesday night in Iceland, but it's Wednesday morning in Australia, which means it's Q&A day. So, you get to ask me whatever question you like, and you can ask him any question as well. These kids are full of... <laughs> they can have a bit of everything. We're getting there. Last meal of the day! Woohoo! We're cheering. Wife life. Six out of six. Woohoo! You're doing so well! Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? I didn't think. such a good eater. I didn't think. And how thought I didn't think? Especially with my attitude coming into the day. Remember? You have such a bad attitude. Remember? Yeah, I remember. I said, I said, I don't think I'm going to do it. And he said, not with that attitude. Here we are. Well, I, I haven't done it yet. And then after this, we've still got the bedtime snack, which is a liter of milk. That's all. All right, sitting together. Your last romantic. Oh, oh, oh. He hasn't had an injury. And now it's like things like this. my toe. Now it's things like this. We're here eating meal number six. Potatoes, rice, spinach, uh, tenderloin steak, and carrots. And we are enjoying it, right? Actually, I am. This is good. Mm. This tenderloin steak that you get, mm -hmm. good, mm. top mm. it's good quality meat. Very nice. I haven't had this much beef mm. in a while, so this is a kilogram of beef that I've had today. Well, after this, it'll be a yeah. kilogram of beef. Yeah. Sodium you haven't spoken a lot about, but you have a lot of salt. Yeah. You salt your food a lot. Yes. To keep my away from getting cramps and just staying hydrated, you know. Mm -hmm. Sodium and pota potassium holds hands, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to be at least five grams of um, potassium a day and um, I basically just salt everything, you know, and, mm -hmm. and yeah. Are you getting cool? Mm. I'm okay. I'll finish it. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best I've ever seen you eat. It is definitely the best I've ever eaten. Yeah, definitely. If I can do this every day, 
I would be a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. if your goal is to get strong, this is how you gotta eat. If your goal is to get ripped, maybe a little bit different, but it's healthy, mm -hmm. that's full of carbohydrates, full of protein. Mm -hmm. We even got a lot of fats in there, full mm -hmm. of sodium and potassium, mm -hmm. which you love for your strength. Yeah, I eat for one reason to get strong, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. It's working definitely. <laughs> For a powerlifting competition. I sent him a message when I weighed in and straight away he was holding me accountable for my eating. But he made me send him photographs of my meals. He said you need to go and get two bags of spinach and eat it with your meals. You need your potassium, you need your sodium and you need to take photos and send it to me. Mm -hmm. And I did and he said and if you do that the weights are going to feel light tomorrow. You know what I'm going to take advice from the strongest man in the world. Yeah. And I did. And I felt good the next day. Yeah, you did? Yeah. If you train well mm -hmm. and eat like shit, it's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. For sure, 100%. And I think I ate well, but not like this. Mm -hmm. Look at you go. I better eat this as well. Go. Okay, more surprises. Mm. I feel like you're getting full. Like I'm getting full? Yeah. Of course I am. <laughs> getting full? Yeah. I was full before I came into this meal, for sure. So the last meal of the day. And then, well, you go. You don't call it a meal, but there's roughly a thousand calories in a liter of milk mm -hmm. with your casein supplement and your banana. Mm -hmm. So we're going to include that. Yeah. I think it's important that people see that you have that because that's a thousand calories. Mm -hmm. That's that's significant, I think. Maybe not for you. Yeah. Thousand calories, it counts. Yeah. So even though you don't call that, that a meal, for the purpose of this, I'd say that's the seventh meal for the day. Yeah. And I guess it is a meal, you know. It's just like a, like when I think about liquid form, mm -hmm. uh, or just like an orange or banana, I never say that that's a meal. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I, can, I guess it can call a meal, yeah. I know some girls that eat around a thousand calories a day. Yeah. It's not good. You know, this is kind of the recommendation of a lot of you know, fitness competitors, which is not a good recommendation. I'm not telling you to do this, but these guys, it's a, it's a very popular We're not belief. Either, either telling you guys to eat the amount of food that we do right no. now. It's just what you eat. <laughs> it's probably not even what I'm going to go and eat. Like, I'll try, uh, maybe. Yeah. If I dedicate myself, I would definitely put on weight. And I would definitely put on strength if I ate like this. Yeah. But I don't know, if I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment yet. It, like I said, it, it is a full-time job. It is. Uh, and it took me many years to get used to mm -hmm. all the eating, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, it's easy to lose track. Uh, it, it is easy to forget meals, but yeah. once you get the hang of it, it becomes a routine. It basically becomes part of your, like, routine, your mm -hmm. life. It's like waking up and brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. you just like, you just do it. You've yeah. done, you done it all your life. You wake up, you brush your teeth. Like, you have breakfast, you just like, it's a routine. Yeah. For me, I come from middle school all day and like, I just finished my six weeks a day. When I'm with you, I know it's definitely part of your routine. Mm -hmm. So usually, like I said, I'll have about three of those meals with you, but not the other three. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you're never eating like me for a whole day. It's the first time. And you're doing pretty good. Right. Pretty well, I would say. All right, so it's time to eat this messy thing. I'm not sure how the liter of milk is going to go down. That's easy. <laughs> Do you like milk? I love milk, but usually a glass. Liter's easy. No. Almost done. Almost done. I believe it. Mm. Don't worry, you're not so proud. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually super proud and like, I don't know, I guess I'm not eating enough, man. It's like, you know, when you speak to your kid, good boy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Oh, you're eating your dinner. Yeah. It was good cooking from yeah. Thor, actually. Yeah, this tasted good. good. Well, the, the girls helped a lot, you know. Actually, your wife and Kelsey, you know, they, they pre prepared some of the meals. For sure. Uh, I grilled it, you know. They helped a lot, so thank you guys. Pleasure, always. Okay, meal number six, done. Yep. One more meal. One more. Wanna go walk it off? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you probably need it. <laughs> you probably need it. Yeah. Uh, let's let's go. Let's yeah, so you do feel like it helps a lot with the uh, I think di so. digestion. Yeah, yeah, I do as well. Yeah, it's like If I don't walk, I've tried days when I'm eating six minutes a day and I don't mm. walk. 
I actually have a hard time myself finishing my meals. Like then I'm just full, like, oh. Mm -hmm. But if I do work, I just feel comfortable. Yeah. Mm. You don't. Maybe I'll sit down for five minutes. You don't look comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Yeah, yeah, let's let's uh, sit down for a few minutes. Yeah, let's, let's sit down for a few minutes. Awesome. <sighs> well done, man. Thank you, man. So how was the walk? Remember, you're not allowed to lie on here. Yeah, we didn't go for a walk. We ended up sitting down and watching Moana. You're welcome. <laughs> we walked three times today anyway. True. But, like, I feel, I feel good, too. I'm also a bit lazy. I'm not looking forward to having a litre of milk. I'll just say that right now. Like, that's not even finished. It was a hard half of it. So what's this? Cassie. How many scoops? Two scoops. Two scoops. No. And a, and a banana. I don't know, it's so, it's so easy for me to drink this. You know, I'll give it to you, that tastes nice. Are you serious? Man, you drink that quickly. You're trying to make me sick, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice. <coughs> mm. Are you watching this? Can you imagine? More later. Every night. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> it's just a real cool. <laughs> no, I'm halfway. Are you serious? Like, <laughs> drink it, drink it, drink it. Wow. <laughs> I'm not used to it. I don't think I will get used to it. Should we do it again tomorrow? No. <laughs> I know you will. An interesting question yeah. on my Q&A. Do you eat the same on rest days as you do on training days? Mm -hmm. I do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's the same. Something that I notice about him, a lot of the times before the session, he eats. And then as soon as the session finishes, he eats. The only thing I actually think when I'm thinking about it is that I do have uh, Atlas Skinner after my session. I do drink that right before I have a meal. Mm. That's the only difference really. Mm -hmm. Otherwise the meals are exactly the same. Oh, like my gut's about to explode. Really? Mm -hmm. And I got another cup of milk to go. Are you gonna tap out right now? No, man, are you serious? Look <laughs> how much I've done. <laughs> Imagine I just couldn't finish the rest. I will, but now I'm thinking, like, if there was going to be a stage that I was going to puke, it's approaching. Really? really? Big day for you. Is this, is this your least favorite meal? It's not, like, the meal, it's the timing of the meal that's my least favorite. Yeah. Like, I'm full, I would very happily just go to sleep before I started this. Uh, now, I've got to worry about not puking. This must left, and I feel like bass going to tap out. I do want to tap out. There's no burp in there. Like, I was hoping that there would be a burp. Or okay, can I just, like, feel like... No, 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 no. no, no, no. I just want to feel like... Oh. Okay, it's quite full. Actually. It's full. <laughs> it's full. We're <laughs> <Are you> scared. <laughs> this is, like... You know what? I don't know if I can. You're not, you're not in a hurry. I hope you're enjoying this. You're massaging me through this. Come on, you get the. Oh, man. Come on. Just finish on. Like, I think enough to make me puke. Alright, just wait then. Just wait. You can, you can hold off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Uh, don't do that, man. I'll no, puke I, on your floor, bro. No, I, I'm just, I'm just, well, patting my gut. Yeah, I'm just making it better. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> this is fucked. I'm not drinking that. Oh my god, he's tapping out. He's tapping out. How much is that? <laughs> I'm not, like, that's, this is gonna tip me over. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? We the literally. Fuck a liter of milk. Can you guys see through this? Like, it's a one sip. And he's tapping out. But I feel like people are not gonna believe this. I feel like people are gonna like think you fake this or something. Make you tap tap out. Bro, off. you made me finish my my coconut juice before I started this. People are not gonna believe. Maybe you need to do a wait. Did you did you even finish your coconut water? <laughs> Bro, I finished mine. Did you finish yours? This is yours. That was yours. Oh, this is mine. Okay, so you finished yours. Fuck this. First come? Is no, bro. Is it good? Is it for other love? Fuck. Okay, so you're officially tapped out. I've tapped out. Fuck that. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. No. The you hold it. <laughs> Drink it. It's been a good day of eating. Uh, I'm, I just wanna say, I'm proud of you, Bass. I'm not proud. This was I wish a I big that. day of eating. I mean, I didn't change anything, I didn't add anything into my diet or anything. This is just how I eat on a daily basis right now. Uh, and right now I'm 200 kilograms. I don't have to be happy with World Series, man. I'm just eating through my meals, feel comfortable, you know. Obviously some people don't feel comfortable. But um, you did well though. I'm proud of you. I need a bit of time. I think I'll feel okay in about half an hour. This is for one. <laughs> But this is that. You want to say bye? Yeah, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed the pain I'm going through to show you that it's not easy to keep up with a 200 kilo guy that's eating to prepare for the world's strongest man. I was quite confident coming into this, the last round. Yep. But no, not that. This, this meal that you don't call a meal. Make sure you like and subscribe. And thank you so much, guys, for watching.